Independent Senator Bernie Sanders' comments on Kashmir were quite significant. Even though he is known to be pretty weak on foreign policy, and not only did he denounce India's crackdown, but he notably called for a political solution in accordance with UN resolutions that, quote, respects the will of the Kashmiri people, essentially endorsing Kashmiri self-determination. Now, Bernie Sanders is the most popular politician in the United States, according to various polls and surveys, and he's one of the top candidates in the race for president, so this is huge. But it's worth mentioning that this was electorally risky, given that the majority of Americans are overwhelmingly pro-India, so his statement could have cost him quite a few votes. Now, it is important to note that this conflict involves not just India and Pakistan, but China as well. So further escalation could obviously have potentially catastrophic consequences. But it seems like Bernie Sanders is one of the few to understand this. He's the only presidential candidate to have commented on Kashmir thus far. Unfortunately, his statement on Kashmir hasn't generated much buzz in US media, presumably because most Americans think that Kashmir is some sort of exotic wool, not a territory split between three nuclear powers, so there's that. But the Indian media reaction hasn't been very kind to Sanders, to say the very least. They regurgitated right-wing talking points to smear him, uh, calling him a crazy old man that wants to give everything away for free, and that's of course in reference to his welfare policy. They even went as far as to concoct outlandish conspiracy theories regarding the motive behind his statement, suggesting that it was his Pakistani-American campaign manager that brainwashed him to condemn Indian atrocities in Kashmir. Yeah, it couldn't have been a genuine concern for human rights that drove Sanders to comment. It must have been part of some sort of insidious Pakistani agenda. Well, we have to give credit where it's due. They've managed to insert their long-standing tradition of blaming anything and everything on Pakistan into U.S. politics. In general, however, Western coverage of Kashmir has been absolutely atrocious. Most have been peddling the Indian liberal narrative that Kashmir was absolutely wonderful until Big Bad Modi came along and revoked Article 370. Of course, we know that that's not true. Kashmir has been occupied since 1947. It's the world's most militarized zone. Over 700,000 Indian troops have been sustaining a brutal military occupation that's resulted in around 100,000 deaths. 10,000 disappearances, mass torture, rape, Uh, but sadly the world has turned a blind eye. But politicians like Bernie Sanders that have courageously denounced India's annexation of Kashmir should give us some hope that the international community will one day wake up and take action against India for the sake of Kashmir and for the sake of the Kashmiri people. We're really excited to share fantastic content with you on all the fun topics. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.